What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel we're doing an oil change. This is my 10th oil change on the Mercedes. I figured I better make a video about this because a lot of people ask. Um, and there's just no good content out there for the newer model Mercedes. So I hope to see you stay tuned and uh, let's get down to the oil change. All right, guys, so if you go to the dealership, which I usually do and buy my oil, um, some dealerships will sell you this Mobile One Formula M stuff. Uh, some dealerships will sell you the uh, Mercedes-Benz Genuine Oil. Really doesn't matter to me. Um, I'm just sticking with exactly what they give me. Really doesn't matter. Um, the filter and seven quarts of oil for this four-cylinder uh, uh, petrol engine 20 or I think it's 2.0 uh, it'll cost you 75 bucks so 75 bucks is small potatoes uh, I mean, you know my, it's a lot more expensive to change oil in my diesel um, it's considerably more expensive than a regular car but you're doing it every 10,000 miles not really that big of a deal I've been quoted anywhere from 130 to 150 dollars for the dealership to perform this service just depends on where you go what dealership um, some are more expensive some are cheaper I just decided to do it all on my own because I haven't had good experiences with the dealer so today I'm going to take you on the journey of changing the oil real quick fast and easy shouldn't be a long video let's get down to it all right guys so I've already started to do the uh, oil change but um, the under panel bolts um, for the under panel of the car plastic protector little eight millimeter you'll have eight of them four in the front four in the rear literally take the plastic cover out from underneath the engine all right so after you take the plastic cover off of here that covers this entire bit you're taking out this plug here on the the driver side of the oil pan mm -hmm. The plug is rather long, um, 13 millimeter is the size. Um, it has a little crush washer that I always recommend uh, replacing. Um, I've, I've had luck with turning it over, but otherwise replace it every time because you might develop a leak. So um, just one of those things I'd recommend to you. All right guys, so I jack up my car with two jacks, one on each side of the car. This allows me the opportunity to tilt the car one way or the other. With the drain pan plug being on the driver's side of the oil pan, I would like to tilt the car just a little bit to drain all that excess oil out of the bottom of the oil pan. Usually if it's in the rear of the oil pan, when you jack up the front of the car, the oil runs directly out the oil pan. But since I have it on the side, I like to jack it up with two jacks to be able to tilt the oil out of the oil pan, get any of that, that little residual on the bottom, any sludge, any crap, I've had really good luck with it. So there's a tip for you. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it a pro tip because I don't wrench for a living, but I do do all of my stuff here at home. So, all right, let's get going to the oil filter. I'll show you exactly where it is, how to remove it, and then we'll talk about the O-rings. All right, guys, first step here. You're looking at the engine from the driver's side. So what you want to do is we want to pop off this uh, intake here. There's little push tabs here. You literally just push them down and they come out. Same thing with the other side. There's a little turn lock piece here. You turn and you can pull that out and then literally just snap this intake up out of here. All right, <clears throat> then you can take your engine cover off. All right. Now we have our engine cover off. We are looking right here on the front of the engine is our oil filter cap. So obviously this thing is plastic. You want to be a little careful with it. You don't want to strip it out uh, or around this, the um, plastic edges off this nut here because then you're gonna go buy one from the dealer. So be careful with it and remove it uh, safely. All right, guys, so this is a 27 millimeter uh, nut on here. The only uh, 27 millimeter I have is an impact socket. I go ahead and slip it over here, and then I'm gonna get, just go ahead and break it loose here. It shouldn't be on very tight. This is torqued to uh, 25 Newton meters, so not very tight at all. Um, literally, all you need to do is spin it past the O-ring and it will let loose.
little archaic because I got the breaker bar out for that project, but um, not th that big of a deal. So after you pop it loose from the bottom, at the bottom of the cup, there is a release valve. So when you pull this up out of here, um, it will drain the rest of the oil into the oil pan. So you wanna keep your oil pan and a uh, drain plug open this entire time. When you pull this out here, the rest of this cup will drain down out of the drain pan. So I let it sit there for a little bit, let it drip off, and then we'll pull it here in a second. All right, best way to do this, I have always, uh, whether I'm working on Mercedes, Volkswagen, heck, some of the, even the newer Jeeps that have this kind of cartridge filter, I usually like to put a towel in here so I don't drip oil everywhere. Oh, come on. So I'll tuck the towel in here to catch any dripping oil that I, I have coming out of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out of here and I'm going to have the other hand here to catch any oil that comes off of it. All right, there's our filter and the stem here. We'll pull it out. Let's go over to the bench and we'll replace the O-rings. All right, now that we're over at the bench, what we want to do is replace these three O-rings. So we have an O-ring here, an O-ring here, and then an O-ring up on the cap. So once you get your new filter out of the box, uh, there will be a plastic uh, a couple plastic bag with a couple O-rings in it. We'll go ahead and get those out now. It's kind of self-explanatory on where they go um, once you get these O-rings off. So all I do is take a little pick like this, get up underneath my O-ring here, and I'll go ahead and remove them. Okay, one, just toss it over so you don't uh, mistake it for one of the new ones. Okay, I did have it. Okay. I just use the pick to get it up out of the, up out of the little groove and then the rest is just pushing it down off of the all off of the filter assembly all right now we're going to remove our oil filter from here um, literally just a little tug and wobble it out of there and it comes off boom just like that so now we can get rid of our uh, oil filter If you're worried about what number the oil filter is, I'll roll it in uh, down below right here on the screen so that you can see exactly what the oil filter number is for this car. Um, I'll put it in the description below as well, I'm sure. So let's go ahead and roll this uh, O-ring the rest of the way off the cap here. And there's my big O-ring getting replaced as well. So I usually have enough residual oil on my hands to oil up the new O-ring. We'll go ahead and slip it back down over here, being careful as to not nick it or overstretch it. Don't be a dummy with the new O-ring. Let's put it on here. Um, these are obviously a lot tighter. They've never had oil on them, so they're kind of a bear to get into place. Okay. And you'll see the little groove that the O-ring goes into. It's not all the way up on the cap. It's right here, um, just below these little notches here. Too easy. All right, we'll go ahead and slide our new filter on, new fleece filter, Mercedes man filter. Go ahead and slide it into place and it pops into the back there. If you didn't hear that, we'll do it again. Or we won't do it again. I don't feel like pulling it out that hard. All right, now my next O-ring here, get down over the edges. Boom, boom, boom. And we will pry it down into the groove. All right. And then my last O-ring goes over here. Boom, just like that. So we've replaced the three O-rings and the filter. Now time to go ahead and put it back in the car. All right, guys, I don't think I need to bore you with the, res or the reverse uh, process here, but literally just putting this oil filter back down in its spot and tightening it down. Um, here, the On the actual nut here on the cap is the torque value. Uh, 
you torque it all the way down, uh, loosen it, and then tighten it another to 25 Newton meters. So piece of cake, we'll go through, we'll tighten it down, torque it, and uh, we'll go down and put the oil pan plug in and fill her up with oil and we are done. All right, guys, our drain plug is rather long. We're gonna put the uh, crush, new crush seal on here and we're gonna run it down in our oil pan. All right. And the torque value on the oil drain pan is 30 Newton meters. All right, guys, so that is exactly how simple it is to change oil on the car. Now I'm going to get back to filling it up with the seven quarts of the Mobile One Formula M. Uh, too easy, I'm going to put the pan belly uh, guard back on there with my eight eight millimeter bolts and we're going to call it a day we're going to bring it down off the jacks and be done with it so if you're here just for torques uh they're in the description below i'm sure people have already read it um, if they're here just for that so i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, stay tuned for more mercedes content and otherwise man stuff all around the channel so i hope you enjoyed give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down whatever you're into and we'll see you guys in the next video